create the diamond pattern, um, I need stitching lines around my diamonds, and what I've done is cut one and three quarter inch squares and arrange them um, on my uh, background papers. And I'm going to adhere those down with some removable adhesive, and I'll use those as guidelines for my stitching. Okay, I'm sewing along the edges of the white um, scrap paper that I attached with removable adhesive. When you're doing these kind of argyle or chevron patterns, you'll want to work towards the bottom edge or top an edge of your uh, background paper because you need some room for this to move as you're sewing uh, back and forth. So you can't really work out of the very middle of the page or you won't have enough room uh, to clear the arm of your machine. And you're just sewing along and then turning and working down the next edge. You sew over a little of the white paper, that's fine. You'll be pulling it out. And you'll just continue on this manner all the way uh, to the edge and then go, down, go and do the other side. Okay, to finish up my argyle pattern, I'm pulling off my uh, white templates here. And notice I sewed over this just a little bit, but that pulls right out. I do have some adhesive I'm going to need to clean up. Some of this will get covered with the um, small squares that I'll be applying, but I'll just be gluing those in place where I want them to appear. Lost some of them. Okay. And that will finish up the Argyle pattern.